what happens with hormones is that during perimenopause years and when we look at andropause years for males that there are lower levels of your sex hormones that are produced from your ovaries and testicles and that is a problem because you want to have good energy we're living in a life where in a world where people are living longer but if we're spending half of our life with low hormones even maybe more than that when we look at lifestyle habits it can be a massive issue when you want to have longevity and you want to feel good because what's the point in just living a long while when you don't have no quality of life and the more stressed you are the more stress we get exposed to within our life the harder it is to keep good hormonal balance now i say hormonal balance there's no such thing as a balance of hormones because you don't have exactly the same testosterone as estrogen as cortisol and all these different hormones it's about having the right levels when we talk about hormone balance having the right levels of testosterone for where you're at of estrogen for where you're at <clears throat> of progesterone for where you're at and so forth now when you are stressed it becomes a problem because in both men and women 10 to 30 percent of sex hormones are synthesized by the adrenals more in women and less in men and that usually is the re reason why the harder you push the harder you work the more intense you do your exercise the more extreme you diet the less results happen because your hormones are just not where they need to be the harder the work the less results <clears throat>